To connect to your Mac, hold down the PS button and the share button at the same time until the lights flash. In the Bluetooth settings on your Mac, find the controller and click connect. If you need to turn the controller off to try again, hold down the PS button for 10 seconds to power off the controller. After pairing to your Mac, if you want to use the controller with your PlayStation again, simply plug the controller into your system and press the PS button. If the last device the controller was used with was the Mac, you can simply just hit the PS button to connect again. Take note that if you previously had your controller connected to your Mac and then switch back to using it on PlayStation, when you want to use it with Mac again, you can't simply connect it by making the controller discoverable and clicking connect. You must forget the device in your Bluetooth settings, then put the controller in discoverable mode, and then connect the controller as a new device. In Ventura, in System Settings, you can now go to Game Controllers to set up personal settings for your controller. Under Profiles, you can customize the profile of your controller, including how strong the haptic feedback is, the color of the light bar, and you can even remap the different buttons. While the Game Controller's Preference Pan is a welcome addition, it really doesn't give you too many options when it comes to customizing the DualSense controller. If you want more options for customizing the look of your DualSense PS5 controller, you should definitely check out DualSense M on the Mac App Store. It's the only app for Mac that lets you use the adaptive triggers and change the brightness of the LED lights on your controller. I open it whenever I use my controller. Make sure to restart your Mac after opening the app for the first time to avoid any pesky bugs. There's options for setting the LED color, brightness, I like to keep it low or off to save controller battery, player LED lights, and over here on the right we can choose the trigger effects for both the left and right triggers. I personally like the GameCube effect when I play emulated games, but there are tons of other options available to make the triggers feel exactly like you want. To access all of these features, you'll have to pay $3.99 for the Pro version. It's a one-time payment, and the truth is the app hasn't been updated in quite a while, meaning there are still some bugs. Having said that, the more Mac users that buy it, the more likely DualSense M will get an awesome update that will match the PC version in the future. DualSense M is definitely worth the money if you want the best possible experience using your DualSense controller with your Mac. Don't forget that you have access to Remote Play. Remote Play is a downloadable app from Sony that allows you to access and play your PlayStation from your Mac through streaming. Take note that it works best with a strong Wi-Fi signal or Ethernet. Remote Play is an awesome way to stay connected to your console on the fly or if you are in a different part of the house away from your PS4 or PS5. It fully works with the DualSense controller including with the adaptive triggers. Here I'm streaming Astro's Playground on a fairly weak Wi-Fi signal, and it's working great. Remote Play is a fantastic free app for Mac, and I highly recommend it to anybody that owns a PlayStation and a Mac computer. You can also use the Remote Play app on your iPhone to stream your PlayStation, and it even has a built-in virtual controller right on the screen. Don't have a mic to join your friend's game chat? No problem. You can also use the PS Companion app for iPhone to voice chat with your gaming buddies. You can use AirPods or any mic connected to your phone. It's a great way to get onto voice chat in a pinch and it works great. PlayStation 5 makes it really easy to record gameplay footage and then transfer your footage to iPhone and Mac. This method can be done with any screenshots and video clips that are less than 3 minutes long. Once you've recorded a clip on your PlayStation, go to your iPhone and open the PS app. Next, tap Game Library at the bottom of the screen, then tap Captures. 
select the video you want, and hit the download button in the bottom right hand corner. Once complete, go to your Photos app and simply airdrop the video to your Mac.